Recurring jobs are jobs that need to be processed in a recursive way based on a timestamp that we get to define. Think of recurring jobs this way. You have a web app where users sign up for your newsletters and you send to them a newsletter every first day of the month. Another case would be when you want to check if you have new data in your database every five minutes or when you want to send a report to all users each end of the month. So, any task that happens recursively on a certain timestamp can be processed using a recurring job. Now, let's go to Visual Studio and see this in action. In here, I'm going to create a job that I'm going to name report. So, I'll just copy these lines and then paste them down here. Then I'll name this API endpoint database update because I want to check if I have new data in my database. Then I'll just remove these two lines. Then I'll use the recurring job class. So recurring job dot add or update. And then I'll not pass any parameters, but I'll just write in here console dot write line database updated. And I want to check for this change, let's say, every minute. So that is going to be my second parameter. So cron dot minutely. If you want to use another timestamp, for example, let's say every three minutes, you can use the minute interval method. Or if you want to define this job every hour, then you can just use in here hourly, or you can use any of these other methods. I'll use the minutes because I want to see the changes in the dashboard. So I'll just type in here, minutely. Then a semicolon in here. And then I'll just return, okay, database check job initiated. Semicolon. I'll remove the last line, save the changes, and run the app. So now in here we can see that in our history graph we get to see all the succeeded jobs that happened in the 11.25 a.m. Now let's go to Postman. Then I'll change the discount in here to Database Update and then click the Send button. And here I see that I get the 404 not found error. So let us go back to our API. And here if we scroll down to the API endpoint that we just created, we see that we have a typo. So let us stop the app, change the date in here to data, so database update, save the changes, and run the app one more time. Let us go back to Postman, and here click the send button, and now we see that the database check job was initiated. Let us go back to the dashboard, and here on the dashboard, now we can see that we have a recurring job. In the recurring jobs, we can see that this method will be executed in a few seconds. It was created a few seconds ago. And the last execution does not exist because it has not been executed for at least one time just yet. So let us wait for a couple of seconds for this job to be executed. Let us refresh the browser in here. And we can see that the job was executed. So now let's go to jobs. And here now we see that we have five jobs and the fifth one is the recurring job. 